Oh my god, that's an easy pace, holy <sighs> That's world record pace there you went out. Oh my god. My leg. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of our exclusive series. Watch as myself and Luke take our bodies further than we've ever taken them before. In today's episode, we're going to talk about our fitness. You might be asking yourself, how fit are professional strongmen and can we actually run for a long period of time? Make sure you watch until the end of the episode as we test our new fitness to the limit and see if we're able to complete a 5k run. So as Tom and I mentioned in the last episode, we made a commitment to each other to work harder than we've ever worked before by doing more runs, by doing more fitness, doing more conditioning, by really increasing that workload in every session we've done. So for us, conditioning is anything that will raise the heart rate up and then what you want to see is your heart rate coming back down quickly or as quick as it can over a period of time. So say your heart rate's going up really fast and it takes longer to come back down, that shows you that you're not as fit as you should be. Conditioning will really help take that heart rate down a lot quicker. So obviously like our conditioning kind of differs slightly. You're getting out there, you're getting the movement in. Out in the tarmac like Mo Farah, your big mate. Um, so how, how are you feeling that's going since you started it? First time I did it, I was like, 185 kilogram guy going for a run. What uh, What's the worst thing that can happen? And uh, I just found it easier outside, outdoors, because I just couldn't do it in the gym. So that's why I was like, right, let's just run. So I think it was like, okay, I did. The thing for me, and I'm not a runner, but for me, it was just about to keep moving. So if I ran for half a K, I wouldn't go on my, I wouldn't be stopping, going on my knees. I would walk, get my heart rate down a wee bit, you know, kind of get the breathing in control and then run again. The running's really helped me with a rhythm of the movement and also the rhythm of breathing. And that's the two things, you know, if you get right, if you get the rhythm up right when you're doing events and you get the breathing right, those two things together can add so much to what my and Luke have got already, which is strength. And that's why I'm doing it as well. And also it makes me feel really, really good. I mean, being out in outdoors, seven in the morning when it's a nice day. Kind of like a challenge, it's like the cold water for Luke. It's like, if I do this and get past this in the day, I've already conquered something hard and the rest of the day is going to be easy. Running for myself has been a big, massive wake up, but it's also been an amazing thing that I've added into my routine and I love doing it. Hey guys, it's time for a quick break. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers high quality pre prep meals straight to your door. That was easy. HelloFresh is perfect for people like myself and Luke we have got a busy lifestyle and a busy schedule. Look, what are we cooking today? Oh, I'm glad you asked, big guy. We have got chicken gyoz, is one of my favorite, with honey, sriracha, bento rice, and all other bits and pieces. So it looks amazing. We're gonna get prepping. Are you looking for fresh new recipes? Perfect for the sunny days ahead. HelloFresh has you covered. Using our code STOLTMAN4FL, you get 60% off your first box, plus free desserts, for life. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to learn more. I think that was quite a good job. We're missing an ingredient. Oh yeah, soy sauce. Oh, that's nice. Tasty that, isn't it? Mm. Mm. That makes it well good. Ho oh. ho. Oh, boys. Thanks, HelloFresh. This is absolutely delicious. Dinner is solved. HelloFresh, feeding the world's strongest brothers. So, we put it to the test and we joined a local running club that is run by Sean Clark, who's a coach at the Stokeman Academy. So we went and joined his run club on a Sunday and we wanted to see if we could keep up with the guys that were in that club and to see how fit we are and see if we could actually complete the 5k run. So let's see how two professional strongmen get on. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> oh, big Tom. That's an easy pace, holy <laughs> Mate, it's about, it's not a mar it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, isn't it? It's not a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> That's well record pace there going on. Just take it away, mate. My right legs are in agony. Eh? Uh -huh. My right leg. <laughs> and I'm shaking as well. You're shaking? Like right, they're shaking. These are Sundays. I'm a straw man and I should be eating Easter eggs. Morning.
Oh my god. My leg. <laughs> oh, they're going jelly. <sighs> oh, sweet butt. <sighs> Tom probably took it the wrong way. We have lost Tom. <laughs> Everybody. Oh, well done. That is us done. The 5k. It was pretty tough. I am the heaviest man to ever do a 5k. I mean, and uh, even Sean at the start said you can turn back, but I don't turn back. So we asked our cameraman that films us, Tom, capture us at the start. So he did that. Middle didn't do that, and the end when we ran back here, there was no one in sight. So guys, let's do this right. Put in the comments, Tom has to write a 5k, yes or no? 5k, Tom. Right, uh, no, run. <laughs> Tom has to try and run a 5k. Tom Owner, write a. Uh, Run a 5k comment, yes. Thank you. Yes. So guys, you just saw the footage of Big Tom and myself running the 5k. It was surprising to see that we could actually do it. You know, we were, we're not breaking any records. The guys that are running in the running club are very good athletes, very good runners. And also, you know, it's let's not kind of miss the point that we're exceptionally heavy. You know, we're probably twice the normal body weight of, of a human being, you know, so certainly Tom is, so. But yeah, I was pretty happy, you know, we just kept, uh, Tom talks about it earlier on in the video, about that rhythm, about that breath. We're not going to keep up with these guys, but I thought it was really good. I thought it was quite a nice way of spending Easter Sunday with with you out running yeah. the 5K. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, very, very good. I think as well, when you look at us, we shouldn't even be able to complete like a 1K and stuff or 2K and that was going through my head, but I think it's if, once you get past that first bit, you know, you hear everyone talk about a runner's high and uh, it's like, you know, when you're in the gym and you lift weights, you get that high. But the first part of that run, I was like, oh, crap, I want to quit. But then I just, and you get past that and then all of a sudden it just kind of, your heart rate stays at the same bit. You you kind of get your head into it, Dan, and then it's just kind of about the rhythm. And, you know, we didn't we didn't run the whole way. We walked, run, walk, run. But the most important thing was we just kept moving and we just, we did it together. You know, joining a run, running club for two professional strongmen is uh, daunting as well because, you see these guys in front of you and you're like, whoa, these guys are running like 15, 20 minutes. But like I said, you don't think about them. It's like when you first step into a gym, you think about yourself. We did it together. We just made sure we could cross the line together and boom. So guys, we hope this gave you an interesting insight on whether or not straw men can actually run. And maybe the results surprised you. As always, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling.